Hello and welcome back to Let's Develop Code Hunt. Uh, last episode I left off in uh, Sector 5, Task 3, which I didn't solve with the maximum skill points like the task before. But since I haven't come up with a better idea how to solve that uh, till now, um, I'm going to continue with the next task and uh, hope for you to give me some ideas how to do this better and... Uh, if you do so, I'll come back to the last tasks and hopefully get the full skill points uh, in another episode. So, for now, let's continue with task 4 of the 5th sector. And yes, in this task we actually get in two integers and we're supposed to return an integer. And from what I see here, this is going to be just... Uh, the negated sum of um, my numbers here, so it's probably not it, but yeah, it's just it's just the the positive sum, so it's just the absolute for now. But actually, that's not even it. It's just math apps of both of the numbers and the sum of them. That's it. I'm not exactly sure where this is uh, some conditional. Of course I could use this, I could solve this with conditionals, but I think this is the much cleaner way to express it because it says what I'm doing and the skill rating uh, says that I'm actually not that wrong. So let's continue with the last task of this loop, uh, this conditional sector 5. We have a code segment that takes two integers as parameters and returns a boolean. And we have some code to begin with which says if they're equal then we're supposed to return true otherwise we're supposed to return false. And from the formatting here I take that there are some other cases to consider. So for 2 and 3 we return false, for 2 and 4 we actually return true. So this could be something like, let's add this here, if they're equal or if j modulo i equals 0. Maybe just a wild guess. Let me see what happens. Actually, that's not true. But 4 modulo 2 is supposed to be 0. 0, isn't it? So it should... Oh, sorry, that's an N. It should be an OR. Yes, uh, my fault. But apparently that's not quite it. Um, okay, so apparently this is not the case for all of them, so there are some pretty big numbers which I'm not able to interpret in my head, and there is a smaller count example that says, okay, this is a, this is, uh, okay, so maybe this was too general, maybe let me say, if j equals two times i, and we're also going to return true. This is also solving my uh, previous case of two and four. But actually that doesn't seem to be the solution either. So let me just quickly return to the initial outputs. So for i2 and j4 were supposed to return true so I'm just going uh, I want to have some more values here because I'm currently quite confused um, and j equals 4 return true and let's see give me some more some more outputs maybe I can make something out of it 
that's actually interesting because it's it's not a multiple but it's quadrat quadratic sorry I'm not I appear unable to pronunciate that so i times i equals uh, j that's the idea expressed here which is true for 2 and 4 and for 16 and 256 so let me see if that captures it it does but the code style is of course not yet really nice and in fact we can write this much shorter by just returning the expression itself and even re remove the braces this should be exactly the same okay it's not because there's some uh, oh this is actually a double point a colon sorry not a semicolon so now it should work again and it's the full skill points nice okay I think this concludes actually sector 5 does it? yes it does so since I don't want to start a new sector in this episode I'm going to go back to the two uh, tasks I didn't solve to my satisfaction and to the satisfaction of the skill rating and I'm going to go through them again um, so an idea I had in the meantime is that maybe this is compiled to Java 8 but I'm not sure if I can actually um, iterate over a string as, a, as an enumeration or uh, iterable of characters so maybe I have to convert it to char array first and then say distinct and then say count this would be possible if this actually compiles to something Java 8 like but apparently distinct does really not exist here so yeah maybe I just stay with my assumption that this compiles to or is, is checked to be something Java 6 or Java 7 like so unfortunately it doesn't work this way um, just to yes yes I know that this works um, just to show you what I meant by uh, this is far easier in uh, C sharp um, we can actually um, import system dot link I think and then we should be able to just write i dot to string dot distinct dot count to achieve uh, okay it's not it's not that easy um, to say var all same equals if this is one abbreviate this and return that this should be possible there's no two string for int uh, of course there's no two string because it's called two string with a uppercase t so this works apparently even though the symbolic executor takes its time and I'm, now I'm curious to see whether this gives us the uh, full skill rating if this thing should ever terminate let me see in the meantime whether I can uh, abbreviate the rest of this expression is he sure I can with a ternary operator well, let me first see what's the skill rating actually that's still not the uh, the biggest possible thing to do so what else what else can I do I, I mean I could 
check the, the condition that it's above 1000 and below 10,000 also via the length um, that's one possibility another possibility is just to abbreviate this a little with a ternary operator as I just said before it's a little shorter this way uh, but it doesn't work because I'm missing the question mark here um, not sure if that's still not he's still pretty slow if that's still not it which is probably the case because it didn't change much um, then can I include this somehow in the distinct no, I don't think I can do that <laughs> come on tell me something is this what you were looking for? No, nope. it's still not it. One interesting thought that just came to me do they even check these? I mean, can I just abbreviate that to this, or do they actually check this uh, two conditions they have here? So it actually should generate a failing test case by now. But it's again only taking a lot of time. It's interesting that this thing is so much uh, slower if I include this extension f uh, methods of C sharp. I'm not really sure if, if the extension methods are the cause, but uh, it's ah, interesting. So if I just abbreviate the condition to uh, ignore these uh, thresholds of 1000 and 9999, that I'm get, then I'm getting the full skill rating. Um, not quite what I expected, but at least now I get the full skill rating on this task. Nice. So, have, let me have a look into this task while I'm on C sharp. So, what I could do here, I think, is create a new array of these three values and then say to list and actually sort. So this should give me um, a list of the three numbers in uh, an increasing order, I think. So um, increasing list. Um, so now what I would have to check is only increasing list 0 okay there's a typo increasing list 0 maybe I should copy this to make it easier 0 times increasing list 0 I should just take a, a shorter name for this <laughs> to make this easier to write I'm just curious if I can get the full skill rating with this kind of uh, cheating around. So 1 equals 2 times L2. Um, maybe I need to import link. Yes, I need to import link using system link should give me the to list void so the sort is actually 
not returning anything, so I have to do it like this. Makes it a little longer, of course, but maybe sufficient. Gets me one skill point more, but still not all the skill points I could get. But thinking of it, I think there's an aesthetic array thought array sort method. So if I say array dot sort l, this should have the same result, maybe uh, even with a little more skill points. But I'm not really convinced. No, this is not working out. I think that with the use of link again um, we could make it a little shorter by using order by and just ordering it by the numbers but this is going to give me an enumeration so I'm going to have to add a list uh, to list here bad dependency in Reddit reference type system link I ordered enumerable so apparently I'm not allowed to use an ordered enumerable here uh, to so solve this task interesting the other thing would be yeah but I had the the variant with just three options I had already on the Java side and it give, didn't give me the solution I wanted so I think for now I'm going to stay with this solution again as I said last time already uh, if you have any ideas how to implement this better how to get the full skill rating please drop me a comment I'm very interested to hear about your ideas and of course I'm going to make an episode uh, on how to fix this messed up uh, thing here in a clean skilled uh, way okay so this is it for now uh, if you like this episode please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, like it or even uh, share it with your friends and if you're interested uh, in my work uh, please also look at uh, my other uh, video productions uh, like the Let's Develop Mirth and the Let's Develop Conway Scale of Life. See you in the next episode. Goodbye!